Good day. Across the United States, millions are waking up to a nation on high alert as weather conditions take a dramatic and unpredictable turn. Today is Wednesday, December 17, 2025, and the U.S. is facing a dramatic shift in weather from coast to coast. Unusual patterns are emerging, and meteorologists are closely monitoring the situation as new data pours in by the hour. This isn't your typical winter week, extreme weather is unfolding everywhere, demanding attention. From bustling cities to quiet rural towns, daily routines are being disrupted as people adapt to rapidly changing conditions. In the Pacific Northwest, a dangerous atmospheric river is unleashing relentless rain, swelling rivers, and raising the risk of landslides and flash floods. Meanwhile, the East is experiencing a sudden warm-up, melting snow and leaving many surprised by spring-like temperatures in the heart of December. Nearly everyone will be affected, no matter where they live. The atmosphere is volatile, impacting travel, routines, and holiday plans. Airports are reporting delays, roads are slick or flooded, and families are rethinking their holiday gatherings as the weather throws plans into chaos. Powerful jet streams, clashing air masses, and surging moisture are creating a chain reaction of storms. These forces are colliding in ways that amplify the intensity and unpredictability of the weather. Flooding blizzards and severe thunderstorms are all on the table. Communities are bracing for everything from power outages to dangerous road conditions. We'll break down what an atmospheric river is, how it forms, and why it's so dangerous for the West Coast this week. We'll also highlight the unusual winter heat wave, exploring what's driving these record-breaking temperatures and what it means for the rest of the season. And we'll track the developing blizzard which threatens to blanket parts of the country in snow and ice, making travel treacherous and daily life challenging. Understanding the science behind these events is key to staying safe. We'll explain the meteorological forces at play and what you can do to prepare. The next week will be challenging for both forecasters and the public. Emergency crews are on standby and families are urged to review their safety plans. Impacts will be widespread from Washington's coast to the Ohio Valley. No region is immune to the effects of this volatile weather pattern. Stay with us for the latest updates to help you prepare as we approach the Christmas holiday. We'll keep you informed every step of the way so you and your loved ones can stay safe and make the best decisions during this extraordinary week of weather. Out west, a major atmospheric river is targeting the Pacific Northwest, bringing with it a dramatic shift in the region's weather. This isn't just a typical rainy spell, this is a powerful moisture-laden system that stretches thousands of miles across the Pacific Ocean, funneling water vapor straight from the tropics. Picture a sky-high conveyor belt of moisture, delivering relentless rain and mountain snow to Washington, Oregon and Northern California. These atmospheric rivers are sometimes called Pineapple Express events because they often draw moisture all the way from near Hawaii, and when they hit land, the results can be dramatic. This is one of the most significant weather events in years, especially for Washington, where communities are bracing for days of intense rainfall, gusty winds, and heavy mountain snow. Local officials are urging residents to prepare for rapidly changing conditions. Multiple storms will hit the same areas for days. Not just a single passing system, each new wave of moisture will add to the impacts making it difficult for the region to recover between storms. With already saturated ground, the risk of flooding is high. Urban areas could see streets quickly turn into rivers, while rural communities may face overflowing creeks and fields. Rivers and streams won't have time to recede between downpours, leading to a heightened risk of flash flooding and dangerous conditions near waterways. Rainfall totals could reach 5 to 10 inches in the mountains, with some coastal spots nearing a foot. In higher elevations, this means not just rain, but also heavy, wet snow piling up rapidly. Even lower elevations will see 3 to 7 inches, an immense amount in just days. This much rain in such a short time can overwhelm storm drains and cause localized flooding in neighborhoods and city centers. Travel will be hazardous, and landslides are possible in steep terrain. Hillsides already soaked from previous storms are especially vulnerable to sudden slides, which can block roads and threaten homes. Residents in flood-prone areas must stay alert for rising water. Keep emergency kits ready and pay close attention to local alerts and evacuation orders if they're issued. The rain will continue into next week, complicating holiday travel and gatherings. With so much at stake, it's crucial to stay informed and prepared as this extraordinary weather event unfolds. The flood threat isn't just about heavy rain, rising snow levels are a key factor, 
When we think of flooding, we often picture relentless downpours, but the reality is more complex. In regions with significant snowpack, the combination of melting snow and rainfall can dramatically increase the volume of water flowing into rivers and streams. As warmer air arrives, rain will fall on mountain snowpack, rapidly melting it and sending even more water into rivers. This process, known as rain on snow, can cause water levels to rise much faster than with rain alone, overwhelming riverbanks and flood defenses. Many rivers in western Washington and Oregon are expected to reach moderate or major flood stage. These rivers are already running high, and the additional runoff could push them well above their banks, threatening nearby communities and infrastructure. Flood warnings are expanding, with major rivers like the Skagit and Chehalis at risk of significant flooding. Emergency officials are closely monitoring these waterways, as even a small increase in water levels could have major consequences for homes and businesses along the floodplain. Urban areas face overwhelmed storm drains, leading to flooded streets and dangerous driving. City infrastructure can only handle so much water at once, and when drains back up, roads can quickly become impassable, stranding vehicles and endangering lives. Hillsides are saturated, increasing the risk of mudslides and landslides that can close roads or damage homes. The ground simply can't absorb any more water, making slopes unstable and prone to sudden collapse, especially in areas with recent wildfires or loose soil. Residents in floodplains should have evacuation plans ready. Prepare emergency kits with essentials like food, water, medications, and important documents. Make sure everyone in your household knows what to do and where to go if evacuation becomes necessary, and clear gutters if safe. Removing debris from gutters and drains can help direct water away from your home, reducing the risk of flooding inside. Stay informed with local alerts and weather updates. Sign up for emergency notifications and keep a battery-powered radio handy in case of power outages. Never drive through flooded roads. Even shallow water can hide hazards or sweep your vehicle away. It's not worth the risk to your safety or the safety of emergency responders. The message is clear. Turn around, don't drown. Heed all posted warnings and barricades and encourage others to do the same. This is a life-threatening flood event in the making. Emergency crews are preparing for swift water rescues and may not be able to reach everyone immediately. Take action now to protect yourself and your property. Use sandbags to divert water, move valuables to higher ground, and secure important items before the water rises. Remain vigilant as conditions can change rapidly. Stay alert, stay prepared, and prioritize your safety and the safety of your loved ones as this flood threat unfolds. While the West faces flooding the rest of the country is on a temperature roller coaster, just days ago, Arctic air plunged the East into a deep freeze while the West saw record warmth. Now that pattern is flipping, a surge of mild Pacific air is sweeping across the country. Temperatures will swing by 30-50 degrees in some places within days. Midwest cities will jump from freezing to the 40s and 50s. Rapid snowmelt could cause local flooding and messy roads. This temperature whiplash signals a volatile, energized atmosphere. The clash of warm and cold air is setting the stage for a major winter storm. The battleground for storms, wind and precipitation is forming right now. By Wednesday and Thursday, warmth dominates much of the country, with temperatures 10-25 degrees above normal. Snowpack from the recent cold snap will melt quickly, causing ponding and minor flooding in low areas. The combination of melting snow and saturated ground will raise water levels in creeks and streams. This brief heat wave fuels instability for the developing storm system. Enjoy the milder air but remember it's part of a larger, volatile pattern. By Friday, colder air returns to the upper Midwest and Great Lakes, ending the thaw. Expect more back-and-forth swings as we approach Christmas week. The energy from the Pacific Atmospheric River will redevelop into a powerful winter storm over the northern plains tonight. Forecasters expect rapid intensification, possibly bombogenesis, with central pressure dropping to dangerous levels. Snow will spread from Montana to Michigan laying the groundwork for blizzard conditions. The real threat, fierce winds as the storm deepens, creating a tight pressure gradient. By Thursday, heavy snow bands and expanding wind fields will combine for hazardous conditions. Blizzard criteria, sustained winds over 35 millipuertos and low visibility, are likely in several areas. Meanwhile, the storm's southern side will pull in warm, unstable air, setting up a severe weather threat. This classic winter storm setup brings snow and blizzards to the north, severe storms to the south. 
the central U.S. must stay alert for rapidly changing dangerous weather. Thursday will be a day to watch closely. The main concern is life-threatening blizzard conditions, especially Thursday. Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan's Upper Peninsula are at highest risk for whiteouts and impossible travel. Even light snow can create ground blizzards if winds are strong enough. Gusts of 50 to 70 meter per parch will sweep from the Dakotas into the Midwest, causing major disruptions. High-profile vehicles will struggle, and many roads may become impassable. Power outages are possible as winds and heavy snow bring down trees and lines. Prepare emergency kits and charge devices before the storm. The storm's timing will disrupt pre-holiday travel and shipping. Anyone traveling through the upper Midwest should monitor forecasts and consider changing plans. Wind is the dominant threat. Blizzard conditions and widespread disruption are likely. As the winter storm moves east, its southern side draws in warm, moist air from the Gulf. On Thursday, a cold front will clash with this unstable air, sparking strong to severe thunderstorms across the Ohio Valley. Main threats, damaging winds and isolated power outages. While tornado risk is low, a brief isolated tornado can't be ruled out, especially in southern Kentucky or Tennessee. Residents should have a way to receive weather warnings and stay indoors during severe storms. The severe threat shifts east Thursday night into Friday, but most energy will be spent. For New England, expect mostly rain in major cities, with some snow in higher elevations. This won't be a major snowstorm for Boston or New York. Stay alert for changing conditions as the system moves through. Preparedness is key for anyone in the storm's path. Looking beyond this week, the Christmas forecast is highly uncertain. Weather models show a wide range of possibilities due to the dynamic atmosphere. The West Coast will likely stay active with more storms. Most of the country is trending toward above-average temperatures, making a white Christmas unlikely for many. Milder Pacific air will dominate, keeping Arctic cold to the north. Some models even hint at a holiday heat wave, but that's an extreme outlier. The best advice, stay tuned and check forecasts daily, especially if you have travel plans. The pattern is active, and new storms could develop quickly. We'll keep you updated with the latest as you prepare for the holidays.